Hey what's up everyone this is Abdulami for Luna Studio back again with another tutorial I was super busy and uh, I got the time to make another tutorial so uh, inshallah after this tutorial uh, I'm gonna be uploading uh, uh, I will try upload uh, uh, make and upload uh, regular tutorial so let's get to the point today I'm gonna teach you guys how to create uh, this uh, scratches on hand effect So here we are in After Effect. Let me just. Uh, this is the main footage I got. Uh, so this is uh, just me moving my hand. Uh, I uh, created a mask over my hand and uh, just uh, uh, added uh, my hand to the footage like this. So I don't need any of the other fr things in the frame. Just the hand. So and then I pre-comped uh, this this footage like this one so it's it doesn't have uh, any uh, what you call masks it's just a pl plain uh, layer uh, and uh, I added track camera to this uh, pre comp and tracked it uh, so it's not a good track but it is uh, tracked so let me just create uh, a null layer like this just uh, scale it up so as you can see the the null null stucks right it, it so it's good now let's go to the main footage and uh, subtract the mask no 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 just none so our work with the masking is done now let's create those cuts I got these thing from Google uh, it's uh, claws it's claws cuts I think I search for uh, just turn it to a 3d layer and uh, parent it to the track null while holding shift so it's big as the null is so turn the null to 100 so it will also go to its normal size now let's position it you don't want to mess around with the Z position because we are already had duplicate this one if you can so here we are with the effect just uh, go and pre comb them both and turn this thing on what is called collapse transformation turn this on so it's gonna be in, in its real 3d space so while they are merged together so after that uh, just go to effects and uh, invert I don't want it black I know I want it to be white like this so it's good just name it claws or cuts I think so here we are now let's go to the where is the this texture I got from website I don't know uh, it's just a flash of wings or something it works uh, good for almost everything for me and push it in a Z space so I don't want it to align with these cuts I want it uh, to be beneath these cuts let's uh, push it in Z space like this and scale it up place it beneath the cuts and uh, press F4 or toggle switches and change the track mat to alpha mat oh sorry luma mat this is it so you gotta push it more further so here is uh, it now just duplicate the cuts if we need it for s other things go to this one and type fast blur and just change it to five eight and uh, 
apply to this one too now after this uh, go to the, the flash layer and drop in curves like this it's too bright right now you want it to look like uh, uh, under something you want it to have some shadows and red but still look flashy so it is now we have to apply some blood here so for blood what I did uh, was uh, just uh, imported um, the damage from the video scope palette uh, action essentials 2 pack uh, I think it was uh, from burn or something folder uh, it had some some uh, some textures like this one uh, we gotta change it to multiply then track it to the null and uh, turn it to 3d layer so now we have this uh, just create a, a rough mask we have a mask around here, feather out the mask like uh, this. So, after that, just place it beneath the cuts tool that we we copy, uh, we duplicated, and uh, press F4 and change the alpha, change the fragment to alpha inverted. So it won't affect uh, and these holes or claw, uh, cuts after that drop a curve on this and go to red and uh, change play with the red like this maybe RGB too you can do whatever you want to do uh, so we have a red color like this and place a fast blur on it too so it matches the footage not that much three three would work Now the effect is almost done. Uh, everything is fine. Uh, just uh, go and uh, turn on uh, motion blur for each of them, uh, so it looks uh, natural. And after that, render it out. So here it is. The result are here. If you like this tutorial please uh, leave a comment down below like this video subscribe share it with your friends uh, family members or whoever is interested in this kind of work and uh, uh, like this uh, video make sure to subscribe it uh, because uh, that's how you help me uh, I help you with the, these videos that's how you help me by subscribing to me and uh, uh, I got 300 subscribers. Thank you very much. Uh, you are uh, all, all that matters to me right now. So thanks for watching. See you next time.